Hi everyone, this is Dan Levy at Telerik. In this video I'll demonstrate how to make use of our new element extraction feature. With our Q3 release you can now easily extract the value of an element and assign it to a variable to be used later in your test. For those of you who don't code, don't worry, no coding is required. Let's take a look at how this works. As you can see we have WebUI Test Studio currently open and we'll click on record to launch our browser in record mode. Next we'll navigate to a web page that will generate random words and what I'm going to do is utilize our hover over highlighting to select that word. We'll go ahead and click it. And I'm going to utilize our quick tasks and scroll all the way down to the bottom here and I'm going to use our extract text contains array. We'll double click and we're going to extract that value. Next thing we'll do is click on our new word button. Now we have a second word. I'll come over here and I'm going to use our hover over highlighting once more. This time I'm going to come in here, click and go to our quick tasks, but I'm going to utilize a verify quick task and we'll verify that our text contains friendly. We'll double click to add that to the test. I'm going to pause the recording and minimize the browser and show you here we have an extract step. So what we need to do is take this extract step and give this a variable name. So for this first variable name, I'm going to use uh, UN for username and hit enter. And I'll double click to collapse the settings back up. Then what we can do is assign a variable to our verify step. But before we do that, we need to change that to an extract step. So I wanted to show you that first of all, you can set this as an extract step from your quick tasks, but you also have the ability to right click on any verify step and change its role to an extraction. Once you do that, you have the ability to then set a data bind variable name, and I'm going to use this for password. So now we've got a username and a password that we're scraping from a randomly generated element. Next thing I'd like to do is bring our recording surface back up, and we're going to navigate to our Sitefinity, which is our enterprise level content management system. We have a demo page. We're going to navigate there, but first I want to enable my recording once more. And we'll go ahead and navigate to Sitefinity. We're going to verify that our edit this site link is there. So we're going to click make a verify statement there. And then we're going to click on edit this site. So what I'd like to do now is first verify that our username and password fields are here. So we'll come into Quick Tasks. We're going to make sure that those elements are visible. And now that we've done that, we'll come in here and we'll enter UN, username for the username, and PW for the password. And scroll down and click on Enter Demo. Now what I'll do is click on my hover over highlighting and perform a verification that, that the user that is logged in is the one that I had logged in with. So we're going to use the verify our text contains a non-breaking space and then UN for username. So what I can do now is uh, close out of the browser to stop recording. And it's worth noting on that Sitefinity demo page that because it's a demo page you can log in with any username and any password so it really lets us have fun with this example. So I'm going to come over to our step where our username is being entered and I'm going to go over to our properties on the right hand side and data bind this to the variable that we created on the data extraction. So I'll assign open paren un for username and I'll set that. Then I come over to our password and we're going to do the same but we're going to set the password data bind here, dollar sign, open paren, pw, close paren, set that. And then lastly, we're going to data bind our verification step to the username field. So we're going to come over here and data bind to our username to make sure that what appears in that top label as who is logged in matches the login that was used. So we'll set that. And lastly, I'm just going to drop in an execution delay right at the very end of the test and we'll just bump that up to 1000 milliseconds so that we have a little pause there at the end of our test. I'll go ahead and click on save and let's select IE for our execution browser and execute the test. So here we go, camp and oxygen are our two words so we're going to log in with camp as our username and oxygen as our password and then we'll verify that camp was username who had indeed logged in and you can see that we come back with 14 out of 14 steps having passed. This video really demonstrates how you can utilize our new extraction feature, pulling the value out of an element and using it later in your test. Thanks for tuning in today.